A recent poll by Instacart says 74% of Americans are reaching for hot sauce to spice up their life at mealtime. And chances are, if you're among this majority, you've reached for tapatio. But do you know the story behind the sauce? Well, as part of our Hispanic Heritage Month coverage, tonight, Chris Holmstrom brings us the story of this Maywood company. He's known as the Tapatio Man, a Mexican horseman with the signature look we've all come to recognize. But it's what this man is selling that has united people from all backgrounds. I mean, just check out social media. You can find dozens of fan videos. I got a pickle. Is this supposed to be spicy? It smells good. <laughs> Tapatio hot sauce is an LA staple and has become an essential pantry item across the US. So basically we receive, this is a shipping area where we receive product. Luis Saavedra is the vice president of Tapatio Foods. His father, Luis Saavedra Sr., started the small business in Maywood, California, back in 1971. At the time, it was his side hustle. My father would take a bottle to work, and all his co-workers would love it. They said, oh, you got to bring us some more of this hot sauce. So when the plant closed down, they decided to open up the business, and he would go store to store and try to sell the hot sauce, which was really an uphill battle because nobody wanted another hot sauce on the shelf. Tapatio became a local favorite. By 1985, the family business moved into a bigger warehouse in Vernon, California. Once we started going across state lines, I received a letter from this uh, nice woman in Nebraska said, why does the man have a tire on his head? So she wasn't familiar with the Hispanic culture. So then we had it advertised more in nationwide magazines, uh, doing shows in different parts of the country so people could become more familiarized with the product. In a matter of years, the company blew up and by 1996 became a nationwide leader in the hot sauce industry. The company saw record sales. In 1997, the Tapatio label we've all come to know was released. But the company didn't just limit themselves to hot sauce. They now partner with several nationwide companies. So now they're adding Tapatio to certain items, like for instance, the ramen, uh, the Doritos chips, uh, popcorn, everything, you know. Now we have a, uh, an ice cream that came out with a Tapatio flavor. Yes, even ice cream. And get this, all the Tapatio you see in grocery stores or restaurants are processed in this processing center. And it starts out with a bottle like this. In just two minutes, it's filled up, labeled, and ready for delivery. In fact, each day they produce 150 to 175,000 bottles of Tapatio. But back to the Tapatio man, what's his story? It's just an artist rendition of a person uh, representing Jalisco, Mexico, the central part of Mexico. Chris Holmstrom, CBS 2 News. <laughs>